Uh, our topic uh, today is uh, is about how to convert an STL program to ladder. Uh, this is a question uh, asked by one of the uh, subscribers uh, in the comment section of the uh, uh, this video. Uh, in this video, we developed a very simple program to calculate the uh, flow transfer flow transfer uh, that is uh, sensing the uh, certain amount of uh, flow movement by uh, issuing a simple task simple pulse uh, in each pulse we uh, add the total value by a certain amount in this ex example we just add uh, the totalizer by 5 in case of receiving a positive edge so here we have the positive edge signals in inputs and for each positive edge we add 5 to the totalize I'm not big fan of uh, converting programs in uh, from STL to ladder but uh, it's a uh, it's a common question uh, there is no automatic way to convert the STL to ladder STL is a, uh, a standard program for S seven controllers for S three hundred four hundred and S seven fifteen hundred and uh, it's uh, somehow meaningless to convert STL program to ladder because uh, the STL program is working properly and perfectly if you want uh, to understand that uh, it's not necessary to ask somebody to convert it to lad you need to learn a skill to understand and to troubleshoot the pro user program but here we will do the task to show you how it's possible the user program originally developed in um, in STL, you can see that I uh, copied the original program in uh, in the network two in STL, and I will develop and I will convert each section into the ladder program. The first part of the user program is reset behavior that I will uh, create this part in network 2 okay if we have the reset signal if we have the reset signal in case of its uh, zero we will move to the normal part uh, in order to find the jump and the other instructions related to that we need to find the program control operations in the basic instruction folders so we have a jump if the uh, condition doesn't meet and if the reset signal is not true we will move to the normal part let me change that to the lower case okay uh, we don't have this normal label I will click uh, Put the normal label in the later networks so our program our program is uh, is is okay now so if uh, the reset signal is false we will move to the normal operation normal operation here but if we have the reset signal we need to uh reset behavior uh we need to reset the totalizer and uh, it's done in network number three to reset total reuse load and transfer it's possible to use move to do the same behavior this is the reset behavior we move zero to totalizer uh, I use the same uh, symbols uh, in the previous example. 
and the, the next step will be jumping to the end jump to end section to avoid, uh, avoid execution of the uh, the rest of calculation jump to end for jump to end very easily we can there are many ways but simply we can create a temporary memory here we have two temps here from previous part temp1 and temp2 temp we can use temp1 we can use temp1 here and uh, the negated version of temp1 because because temp1 is um, yeah, or it's possible to use the the negated temp1 and if we add the negated and the original signal uh, the result will be always always zero so uh, we so we have zero here we want to always jump uh, go to the program and control operation we, we need a jump when zero is the input and the level is here the end of the program the end we keep uh, network 7 or the other networks we, we may add several uh, networks the, the last network will, will be our end end section end of totalizer okay so the reset behavior is programmed completely the next part is the normal calculation for normal calculation we have the pulse signal we have a positive edge and in each positive edge we have a simple addition uh, so we have the pulse if we have the pulse signal we don't have the reset signal if we don't have the reset signal and uh, we need the positive edge Positive edge is a value in bit logic operation. Positive edge here. We need the memory, internal memory. We need to use an internal memory here. And uh, um, we need from mass functions, we need to add block. Sorry. The totalizer will be added uh, with a certain amount of value here. We can be uh, selected five, possibly based on a, uh, some data sheet of the you know uh, the the totalizer, the actual totalizer. So uh, we add and we trans uh, we copy. The result of the calculation into the totalizer and the type of uh, our data type is real in this add block. Uh, we delete the extra unnecessary networks here. Uh, end of totalizer and the rest of the program here and the rest of the program of well, the program. For the rest of the program, because we don't have anything to add, it's possible to use temp2. Temp2. It's a dummy, dummy program just to fill this this part. Uh, but in the real program, this is the rest of the user program. So uh, we save the uh, program. Let me check again if we set uh, is false we, we will move to the normal if it's true zero to totalizer and uh, we will jump to end and in case of the reset is false we will move to this calculation pulse and the positive edge mm, i think uh, 
I think the, the task is done here. The next step will be function test the program. load and finish and here put the CPU in run uh, we go online check the program and uh, let me find the watch table here First, uh, let me reset the reset the total order and everything. And here I uh, apply some pulses. Zero. Again, I need to apply another pulse. So the total order is working fine, and the reset behavior is perfectly working. In case of uh, simultaneous action on the pulse and the uh, reset, the total there will not work. So uh, it uh, it's working as we uh, we design or we intended in the user program. The next step will be adding the clock pulse of the CPU clock pulse of the CPU I will add M05 or M07 to the to the user program for automatic pulse generation M07 in network number one I copy M07 to M the pulse M07 this is the pulse CPU, uh, one of the CPU clock memories, and I copy that to the pulse signal. Uh, I need to have the automatic pulse generation, compile everything, download, and finish. Uh, we monitor the program in online mode. We have the pulse here. So the, in the watch table, we go in line again, the, uh, the pulse is working perfectly, the totalizer is counting, again I reset the totalizer, uh, see that you, see, you can see that uh, despite the fact that we have the pulse, the output is zero. And then we reset the reset signal, the counting is starting. Thank you for your time and uh, I hope you find something new here.